send a hook. Send a hook. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my god. What the f bro? I can't go any tighter. Huh? What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today, we dropped down a huge cut bait by the bridge and hooked onto something absolutely massive. If you haven't watched part one, watch part one, link will be down in the description. Catch you guys at the bridge. For this video, we are using a nice piece of fresh mullet attached to some 70 pound test wire. I look like redemption at the bridge. Oh yeah, redemption at the bridge. They got attached to about a foot of that, like two feet of that. Attached to sliding weight, 80 pound mono with 40 pound test braid on a 6,000 tie spinning wheel. Caught this southern kingfish while we were waiting for the for the big baits to go off. They look like a whiting, but they're browner. So we're gonna let this guy go. Okay, we just caught a starfish. And something is taking my big, my big bait. Look at that. He's going like right under your dinghy. You want me to pull it in? Drop the rocket, drop the rocket. I'm sending the hook. Send the hook. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Are you tight? I'm tight, bro. Maybe go follow this guy. Or not. Maybe not yet. The boat here. The boat. Yeah, unless he like turns or something. If he turns, we'll hop in the boat. Bro. Yeah, we need to follow him. He's he's still going. Where is it? Point your route towards it. Where the line's going? Over here. Holy shit, the boat. Oh, this is a big fish, bro. Yeah. It's a big fish. I think it's a shark. Come on, bro. Hurry. It's a big fish. Huh? No, he's not. But we just don't want to get too much line out. Holy sh Oh my god. What the f bro? I can't go any tighter. Huh? The I don't think the light works. Okay. Holy. <laughs> Holy. This is a big fish, bro. Yeah, we need to follow this guy. He took some line. He took some 
line, bro. I think it's a shark. I think it's a big shark. I'm not in gear, and the boat is just moving. You want to land him at that beach over there? Oh, f yeah. Oh my god, this is a big fish, bro. bro. This is a big fish. I mean, it's not a grouper. Because no, he, like, went out here. It's got to be a shark. Definitely a shark. The current owner of fish, bro. Yeah, now we're, now we're going to have to pull him. <laughs> I mean, we're all the way out here, so... I'm just going to let him pull. He's just going to go there. He's not going to break himself on it. Unless they're crab traps, which I doubt. Not even the boat. No, nah, just keep it. Don't, don't move. Turn the boat off. Look at him, bro. Off? Yeah, turn the boat off. No, not off, not off. Or just like, keep going to the beach? No. Because I don't want him to turn around and cut me off on the yeah, thing on. there. Jeez, dude. It's a big fish. It's massive. We're all the way out here, too, so that's good. It's got to be a big bull. Like, what What else could it be? Could it be a ray? A ray? Could it be a ray? No, if he's trying to bed down. Or a stingray. Could it be a stingray? He would run and try to bed down immediately. Because it's not a grouper. I was wishing it was a grouper. Giant shark in the Yeah. That beach is so far away. Is it? Where is it? It's just like right there. Right there? We're like halfway to the and, and we can go on it? And it's public. No, don't, don't, don't. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. We just need to tire him out. I'm gonna loosen the drag since we're all the way out here. Where did the sign go? Uh, the sign's right there. Okay. Yeah, he's going straight that way. He's gonna run his face. He's gonna hit that sound where he's probably gonna go deeper into the bay. Still fighting him. Alex and I think it could be like a, a six, seven foot bull shark, honestly. We don't think it's a grouper because of the super long runs he made. Alright, I don't want my battery to die on the GoPro. Yeah, I'm gonna record for a little bit. So we're guessing it's either a bull shark or a black tip. Big one. Because this guy is heavy. No way. Yeah, look how much look how much line. Shine the light at the reel. Look how much line is out. Bro, that's like that's like hold on, how many rings? This got two rings. That's 200 yards of line out. Now you're pulling him in. Yeah, now I am. Catch you guys. Yeah. Catch you guys when we're closer. I think I finally turned his head and because I'm gaining a lot of line right now. It's slowly coming towards us. Whatever it is. We'll see. We got Alex maneuvering the boat. Without a boat, this would have been impossible. It would have already been over. He would have got, yeah. he would have got me on the piling. He would have got me around the sign or something. It's so nice having the boat out here. Bridge fishing part two, baby. Revenge, the revenge on the revenge on the big fish. Oh, he's coming in. How long of a battle do you think this was already? Like 15 minutes? Uh, I shut it off. My GoPro off a couple minutes ago. It was at like eight or nine minutes, I think. Yeah, so around like 11. Oof, this is a heavy guy, bro. This guy is heavy. Oh my god. Bro, it's heavy. I'm gonna come a bit closer so it's a bit lighter. Oh my god. I should not have done this on the 6,000. <laughs> what, what do you have that's bigger? Nothing. <laughs> I need to get a bigger one. We got. So the second ring is now hidden, barely. Oh god. No, oh, he's gonna run again. Oh, he's gonna run again. Slow down, slow down. Oh, your drag oh. is so tight. 
What do you think you're at 20 something pounds of drag? It's gotta be something like that. 25 or so. Like you can hear how tight it is. What time is it? Uh, 8.48. We started 848. at like 8.37, 8.30. Yeah. Lighting. It was a long wait, but it was worth it. Oh, look, he's running now. All that, what I just reeled in, is now gone. Man. Oh my god. He's like going in like shakes. He's like doing this, then doing this. Like he's... Like he's taking it out in like bursts. Oh my god, bro. He's taking me all the way back home. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought it just popped. Oh my god. It definitely just did like a giant thrash in the water. Yeah. Hey, we gotta follow it, bro. We gotta follow it. It's taking out too much line. It's like it falls asleep. <laughs> and I just slowly pull it in. And then it keeps going. Are you still recording? Yeah. God, bro. Thank you. Bro, 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in the fight with this fish. Almost 40 minutes? Almost 40 minutes fighting this fish. We're in the middle of... What? Boca Sega Bay? We're still in Boca yeah. Sega. Yeah, we're in the middle of Boca Sega Bay right now. And we've been fighting this fish for 40 minutes. We caught him on a big, like, I'd say what, like eight inch mullet? Yeah, eight, nine inch mullet. An mullets. eight inch, nine inch chunk of mullet with the tail cut off. And he is still just dragging us all over the place. I think it's a bull shark, but we're, we're hoping it's a sawtooth. We get, yeah, it could be a sawtooth shark. He was staying down a little bit, so. He's very heavy. He's just sticking to the bottom. We were right over him one time and he just would not come up. We're trying to take him over to a beach so we can unhook him and get a look at him. Cause there's no way we're, <laughs> we're unhooking a shark on a rubber boat. <laughs> Bro, if it's a sawtooth shark, if he gets close, we're just- well, If he gets close, so he's gonna pop the boat. <laughs> So, bro, 40 pound braid on a 6,000. This is a nightmare. This could go on forever. It is what, like- Look at the bend in that- Look at the bend, bro. Was it full heavy rod? It is, yeah, it's, in, it's a, yeah, look at that. With the tip broken off? With the tip broken off. <laughs> that is a full bend and he's still going. He's still taking drag, like, it's... Both, both also still in reverse. We're both, the boat's and in reverse. We're not moving closer to the beach. We're trying to get to the beach, but the fish just won't let us. He wants to stay in the deeper water. Because he's a big fish. I bet it, I bet it would be, like, impossible to drag him over the grass flats. Are there, like, grass flats around here? I mean, if there would, that would be like, all like. Oh, he's he's going this way. He's going to the right. That's good. That's good. That's good. See you guys. Hopefully at the beach. This fight could still go on for another 20, 30 minutes. We don't know. Hey, security. He's not. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he is not. Are we no. 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 He's going. He is going gone, bro. He's moving, he's going to like the right now, what? I mean the left, he's going to the left. 45 minutes now? Oh my God. Bro, he is going gone. That's a big shark, bro. Oh my God. 8.35 hookup, 9.20. Bro, shining lightning. God damn. He's just going. He is just going. Bro. Oh my god. The mon the mon is what snapped. Bro, I th yeah, how look. Many feet up is that though? Yeah, but look how freight it is here too. Yeah, but right here by the by the bottom. Look how freight that is. Mouth. Jeez. You think he swallowed that whole thing? There's Look no how really frick. Like, was it a sawtooth? It got shaved off. That's not. Yeah. That's not by freaking. Um, what was he rubbing? That's on? not by his skin. I Look at that. That got 
rub down to half thickness. Yeah. That's crazy. My arms are so sore. That was 50 minutes of battle. 50 minutes and he pops. Like it snapped down here on his teeth. Yeah. Probably, right? I mean, I had I had around that much of. I had him out around that much mono. This snapped on something. There was also three feet of water. So, so look, we were all the way by that dock over there. Oh, and two miles, two miles. almost two miles. This fish dragged us two miles. This is where we hooked up by the bridge. Yeah. We hooked up by the bridge. This fish took us all the way over to the beach over there. And cut us off by a dog, probably, we think. That, the mono is totally frayed. Yeah, we gotta pack up and go home, it's late. That sucks, we gotta do a part three. That, that sucks, bro. Losing that fish was the biggest heartbreak in fishing for me so far. We fought that fish for over, like around an hour. That fish dragged us around for two miles in Bocas Diego Bay. So that fish was just hard to move, especially on a 6,000 size reel with 40 pound braid. That is not big gear, because we were not planning to hook something that big. And as you could tell, the mono was just completely frayed. So either the knot slipped or the mono, the 80 pound mono just failed. So I guess we're gonna have to do a part three. See you next time.